Today's business forecast? Cloudy. Today's technology forecast? Cloudy. Did you know Dubai is a classic example of a hydrocarbon economy leader that wants to become an epicenter of the cloud economy? We are witnessing a seismic shift in information technology, the kind that comes around every decade or so, and it will have a huge impact on business. Do you remember how the retail industry was slow to grasp the importance of the Internet before it got amazon -ed? Well, another technology storm is brewing. Only this time, the turbulence could be even greater and affect every industry. And it's no less than a perfect storm, as it's coming at us in the midst of the current economic climate, in the midst of unexpected change. It's called the cloud, a 21st century business platform built on cloud computing technologies. Just as it was with a fresh new internet of only a decade ago, the cloud and cloud computing bring with them confusion and hype. Nevertheless, these are game-changing phenomena, so business leaders and the rest of us must gain an understanding of what these terms really mean and how they will affect us, just as much as the Internet has affected us all. What is the cloud? What the hell is cloud computing? It's complete gibberish. It's insane. When is this idiocy going to stop? Is it a new idea? The network is the computer, 1984. Oops, the network bandwidth wasn't available in 1984. It's only now that we have the network bandwidth to realize Gage's vision. And so, when the network becomes as fast as the processor, the computer hollows out and spreads across the network. Cloud computing is the next step in the evolution of the Internet as a source of services. It's those services that users are interested in, not the underlying technologies. As companies use service-oriented architecture, SOA, to provide standardized services, the value of IT to the overall business mission grows exponentially. The cloud represents the knee in an exponential growth curve. Combinatorial innovation should also be made easier by the fact that the cloud will be a huge collection of electronic services based on standards. The cloud is the real Internet or what the Internet was really meant to be in the first place. An endless computer made up of networks of networks of computers. In its essence, cloud computing is about using swarms of computers to deliver unprecedented computing power to people and organizations across the globe. When small and mid-sized businesses learn of the potential benefits of cloud computing, they will be able to tap IT infrastructures, platforms, and software that only huge enterprises could deploy in the past, making the cloud the great leveler. Even you and I as individuals will be able to use one of the world's largest supercomputers without having to house it, manage it, power it, provision it, or buy it. Rumor has it there's a good business in the long tail. My view, most computing will be purchased by that tail. There are, after all, far more small businesses than large. Cloud computing has enormous potential to speed up software development, collaboration, and ultimately, software usability. There are still big unanswered questions about cloud computing, but the global recession is accelerating CIO interest in alternative ways to deliver software and services to organizations that are demanding ever lower IT expenses while clamoring for ever higher levels of computing support for collaboration and customer service. The shift to cloud computing will dramatically reduce the cost of information technology, but let's be clear, the implications of this shift go far beyond cost savings. The digital world will converge with the physical world. There will be not just one cloud, but a number of different sorts, private ones and public ones, a federation of all kinds of clouds in the same way that the Internet is a network of networks. And all of those clouds will be full of applications and services. Yesterday, the Internet. Today, the intercloud. The economic and innovation implications are game-changing, for technology will not only be available to handle the world's business transactions, but will also open a whole new world of human interaction and collaboration on a scale never before possible. In the past, information technology was about productivity. Now it's about collaboration, a shared information base, and collective intelligence, the wisdom of crowds, social networking, cloud sourcing. It's about business innovation. Time is the currency of the information era. To turn information into knowledge and connections into added value, you need to invest in time. Time, not money, will buy trust. 
Thus, a business must shift from being a corporation to being a cooperation. Especially in economic bad times, the winning company will be the company that recognizes, understands, optimizes, and reuses its business processes. Lean and green really mean something, and only those who get it will win. Exploiting the cloud is really about embracing change in the workplace, allowing technologies like Web 2.0 to facilitate better collaboration, and using business process management, BPM, to reinvent fundamental processes in a way that is more sympathetic to today's multi-party, impromptu processes. The cloud is nothing more than the platform upon which to build better businesses. Providing services to innovators inside the company and out profoundly changes the way a company appears to customers, partners, and competitors. Some of these new business processes create markets where none existed before. Others change the role the company plays within the value chain. Through open innovation, cloud computing will take globalization to a whole new level, and globalization is indeed the greatest reorganization of the world since the Industrial Revolution. Now you know. With the cloud, all is changed, changed utterly. To say that we are living in an exciting time is an understatement. Smart businesses will take advantage of the cloud now and successfully ride out the perfect storm to create a bright future. The Chinese word for crisis consists of two characters: danger and opportunity. Out of the ashes of the current economy, a renewed one will arise.